cupboard opposite lock because the MU eggs, which ran in last season, is going to run in this season again. It's getting a makeover. Now, it performed quite well last season, so why not give it a bit of a birthday? So the first thing you've got to do is we're going to stick a bull bar on. So the guys at Opposite Lock have organised this awesome new flash bull bar to go on the front of the MUX. So the guys from All for Adventure, they're obviously rough on the gear. They really push it to the limit. We're here at Opposite Lock. We make sure that we test that gear before it even goes out to the marketplace. And the guys like Simon and Jason, they already are doing that and we want to get our gear on their cars and we know it will survive because we've done the R&D, we've done the testing, we've done the engineering, we've got a, over 40 years of experience making sure our product can survive as a touring product, a camping product and an off-road hardcore product. Now the MUX is the smallest vehicle in the fleet, would you believe? It runs all the same running gear but it's a little bit shorter. So the first thing you do is we'll give him a bull bar. So it looks pretty strong in here, like there's a fair bit going on I noticed. I see the bars come through the top the top bumper here yep. and, and protrude right down into here. That's correct. Is and that that's an important thing, that's isn't a, it? That's a very important thing. It stops all this end of the bar just wobbling around. Certain corrugated oh, roads you would have found okay. in the past. So this is now strengthening this part that's as well. That's correct, that's correct. And if you happen to cop a heavy hit on this yeah. edge, yeah. yes, this give it that yes. extra structural integrity. Now let's face it. Uh, the vehicles that go out on All for Adventure get an absolute flogging from the environment that we drive around in. Sort of combat that, Opposite Lock have done what's called a, a zinc phosphate coating and that sits underneath that powder coated, that, that Teflon coating and that all combined keeps the paint on your bull bar looking good for years to come. Our plan for the MUX is to make sure it's got the fuel capacity. At the back of it, where the spare wheel goes, there's this massive big void. Now, because we've got bigger tyres on the MUX, there isn't any space or enough space to fit that spare tyre in. So what we're going to put in there is a Brown Davis auxiliary tank. Now, this is a 95 litre tank and it's got a pump inside it and it actually transfers the, the fuel from the 95 litre across to the standard 65 litre. So basically, you're going to get some serious range out of it. The Brown Davis auxiliary tank is made out of aluminiumized steel, which makes it tougher. It's actually, I reckon it'd be twice as tough as the standard tank. So it can take a bit of a knock and keep on going. When you put a bull bar on, it's designed to, to hold things like your winches, your spotlights, all that, you know, your UHF radios all that sort of stuff. So when you're gonna do a vehicle up, like let's say you're heading off on a trip yourself, then get the bull bar and the winch on first so you know what sort of weight's gonna be on the front end and then that leads you in to some suspension. We're gonna make sure that they've got the best suspension with the guys from Outback Armour. All our trucks are gonna be fitted out with some Outback Armour this year. We're going with the fully adjustable yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going with these jout stops. I'm, I'm curious to see how they're gonna go. So there's no doubt about it, uh, the MUX is getting a serious kit out here at Opposite Lock. So Simon literally destroyed the D-Max on the last season, so it's time it got a makeover. Poor little thing. Needs a, you know, needs to get rid of those bush pinstripes. So we're going to town on it. The D-Max, it's Simon's car, and we Ooh. know he's going to hammer that puppy. So we're going to make sure it's looked after and it's protected. So on the front, opposite lock bull bar, premium bull bar. So the bull bar that we're putting on the D-Max, it's the new opposite lock modular system. Now the advantage of the modular system is everything sort of interlocks in it, but it also makes it easy to access, but also it makes the, like the winch cradle and the things behind the bull bar that support it really, really strong. So. This is going to be a really tough bull bar. Now, on top of the Teflon coating that goes onto it, uh, we're going to run the bars all black, so it goes with the truck itself. And then, of course, there's a winch in there somewhere, but there's easy access to the winch. So when we head up north, there's going to be some serious tracks this year. They're going to be doing some serious winching because they've had one of the biggest wets on record up there. So you can imagine how much mud there's going to be. So we'll be winching, we're going to be dragging, we're going to be pushing, there's some bush bashing. So all that is at the front of the truck and that's where the poor old bull bar cops an absolute flogging. So this Obstalog bull bar, not only is it going to look good, 
but it's also going to be able to do the job. Obviously we're expecting the boys to push their cars to the limit and they're going to go to some crazy off the beaten track location but we expect our gear to come back with just battle scars and it's still working functionally because we back our gear 100%. Now that the Isuzu's have all their gear fitted, the 200 is going to get a premium opposite lock bull bar as well.